Wow. Here's a very, very powerful face image looking left. And that face is looking forward from the front of the mammoth. Just an outstanding, very powerful, see if I can get this right there, very powerful face image looking to the left there with the light enhancing the image. And that's what these Paleo-Indian ancestors of ours were up to. They were that creative to look at, to work this stone and make this image appear in the in sunlight. This face looking forward. Amazing. This is actually a full mammoth image and it's a full mammoth um, facing left with its big sweeping trunk coming down from the left. And here we have a grouping of 14. Here we have 14 mammoth effigies, paleo story stone mammoth and face effigies. And they're all in ruby red volcanic glass. This is a particularly beautiful sculpture here. And the eye you can see right here has been scraped and roughed. But above the eye, particularly right here on the left-hand side, those are not just flaking ripples. Those have been grooved. They've been etched and grooved to enhance the hair above the head of the mammoth. So that's the hair peaks above the head of the mammoth. Here we have it in, we have another face there looking forward. Yet another powerful face right there looking forward as well. Beautiful ruby red volcanic glass. And that's quite a, quite a marvelous uh, mammoth effigy right there. You can see that uh, this big strike above the eye and it left a lot of flaking ripples, but they actually enhanced those flaking ripples. Off to the left there, you can see they've been actually grooved in there to enhance those ripples and enhance the ripples right there. They've been grooved as well. That's just not flaking ripples, see? That, that's, where, that's where these folks were very creative and used quartz crystals to enhance their sculpture work. Unbelievable. This is a great little mammoth here with its nose right over here off to the left and its eye had been uh, scraped in, a uh, uh, well patinated eye. When you turn it over this way now, now we have a very cool baby mammoth. This is the baby mammoth with its little trunk right here and its eye here. And we have that all that hair which has been engraved in there. That's all been worked. Unbelievable, unbelievable. We turn it over here. We have another baby mammoth off to the left with this being its eye now. We have a great face. The eye, the nose, and the mouth with the hair that's been heavily engraved, heavily etched there. Really grooved there. That's very good, thick, heavy grooving right there and that hair above the head. So we have the face looking off to the left. Just an outstanding example. And of course we have a mammoth now facing left. And this way we have a mammoth facing right. Just an outstanding effigy in beautiful, beautiful ruby red volcanic glass. And there are 14 of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's another one here. Beautiful, beautiful color there. And we have another mammoth here with the eye that's been pecked there. The trunk coming down here and all that hair up on top of that head has been grooved and etched in there. Just unbelievable. What a beautiful piece of stone. 
All of these have great, great mammoth images. Of course, we have the other mammoth image here. Now that's a mammoth, mature mammoth facing right. We have another mature mammoth facing left there. Outstanding. And then we have mammoth image in the back there, one facing right there. This one's an excellent mammoth image right there facing right. The one in the middle facing left, the one in the rear facing left, the one up front facing right. A beautiful piece right here facing left. Outstanding little baby mammoth image there. This is a great mammoth image facing right. This one's really outstanding, little baby mammoth there. Another mammoth facing left here. And of course, we're back to this really beautiful, beautiful monumental, I think, sculpture of a mammoth and great face imagery as well. A grouping of 14, 14 of these ruby red volcanic glass paleo story stone effigies that were sourced in China. But they look very similar to the ruby red ones that have been found at Mount Shasta, California. So I think these may have originally, they may have come from Mount Shasta originally. Check that mammoth. Isn't that beautiful? Mammoth looking left, facing left. Just an outstanding grouping. Obviously an offering, a cash offering of 14 effigies. If I can get back far enough to catch a view here of all 14 of them. Everything that you're looking at there is a Paleolithic story stone effigy. A little sunlight coming in here. Paleo story stone ruby red effigies. Cash offering.